Pangios. The imagination of designers and architects never ceases to amaze. Recently, Italian designer Pier Paolo Lazzarini presented an incredible project, a floating mini city called Pangios, designed in the shape of a huge turtle. The scale of the structure is impressive. The Turtle City will be 1,800 feet long and 2,000 feet wide. The urban space will be divided into functional zones that can be accessed by water or air. The city will have a small port surrounded by villas as well as private and multi-family homes. Leisure activities will also be provided for with the construction of commercial and entertainment centers, as well as beaches on the wings. How will the floating city move? Inside the turtle, there will be nine engines installed. The structure will be able to move at a speed of approximately 5.7 miles per hour. Power will be provided by the turtle's wings, which will collect energy from oncoming waves as well as numerous solar panels. The cost of the project is $8 billion and it will take eight years to complete. X3 Flying Car Most flying cars look more like personal airplanes, often without wheels. However, this cannot be said about the Xpeng X3 electric car from the Chinese company Xpeng, which has already undergone initial testing. The vehicle is designed for both air and road travel and looks more like an ordinary car with a giant drone on the roof. At present, the manufacturer is hiding the real appearance of the electric car, but the concept looks truly fantastic. The vehicle is equipped with folding engines for better road control and is designed to overcome traffic jams, obstacles on the road, and rivers. As for real-world testing, the X3 can already take off to a height of up to 32 feet and perform simple maneuvers. Unfortunately, the exact specifications and expected timeline for the appearance of this technology in mass production have not yet been revealed. Transonic Truss Braced Wing High fuel consumption is the main problem facing modern airlines. It also affects passengers since the cost of fuel is factored into ticket prices. Boeing intends to solve both of these problems by building and testing a full-scale airliner based on its new wing design concept. The airliner will have long and narrow wings with supports. It is expected that this design will increase lift, reduce aerodynamic resistance, and allow for a 30% reduction in fuel consumption. Considering the large number of aircraft, even a 1% reduction in fuel consumption means significant savings for airlines, let alone 30%. The first aircraft of this type is expected to be mass-produced in 10 years. Cargo Do you avoid courier delivery because it's expensive? That's about to change. A robotic mini-car named Cargo that could reduce delivery costs by 90% was recently introduced in the UK. With Cargo, courier services will no longer have to hire people for parcel delivery. Cargo combines advanced robotics and autonomous control technology. The company's engineers used one of the latest artificial intelligence technologies to create the device. With its help, the device will be able to independently maneuver on the road and avoid collisions with cars and pedestrians. The inside of the car contains cells that the courier service will fill with packages for customers. When cargo reaches the delivery location, the system will automatically select the required package and deliver it to the customer. It is expected that cargo will deliver its first package at the end of this year. The Blue Estate The idea of floating cities has long been supported by international organizations and large private companies. The latest version of a city of the future is the Blue Estate, a floating paradise in the Caribbean Sea. The size of the Blue Estate's artificial island, which will be built from super high-performance concrete modules, will be 0.57 square miles, which is half the size of Monaco. But what about hurricanes and storms? 
Developers say that the height of the structure will allow it to withstand even the highest waves. Additionally, the artificial island is planned to be mobile. In an unfavorable forecast, it will be able to sail to a safer place. The creators also promise to use exclusively renewable energy from the sun, water, wind, and tides. The new city will be one of the greenest communities in the world with excellent ecology and clean sea air. The construction of the floating city is expected to be completed by 2025. Armor Truck If you think a special vehicle can save you from the apocalypse, then the futuristic off-road vehicle Armor Truck is just for you. Armor Truck is not your typical streetcar. It is a massive beast with a 2,000 horsepower engine and an aggressive exterior design. It will make you shudder at first and then admire it eventually. The off-road vehicle has gull-wing doors, insane off-road tires, a series of LED fog lights on the hood, an oxygen generator, and much more. The author proposes that the car should be made of super strong steel, titanium, Kevlar, and carbon. The glass and tires are, of course, bulletproof. Interestingly, this concept is fully ready for implementation. Even Elon Musk himself is interested in this vehicle. Thorium Powered Car A car that doesn't need to be refueled is the dream of every owner. Soon, this may become a reality. Introducing Thorium, a car with a nuclear engine that can run for 100 years without needing to refuel. According to scientists, 8 grams of nuclear fuel will be enough for the car to travel 300,000 miles, and a single factory charge will last the entire service life. The power of the nuclear car engine can be up to 335 horsepower and the weight is about 500 pounds, which is acceptable for installation in modern cars. Do you think we will ever forget about refueling our cars? Share your thoughts in the comments. Lightship L1 When an electric car tows a trailer, it consumes additional power, thereby reducing its driving range. But what if the trailer could push itself? This is exactly what two Tesla veterans have been thinking about, and they have created an electric-powered camping trailer called the Lightship L1. According to the developers, this trailer can be towed by an electric car without reducing its driving range. In other words, an electric car with a hypothetical driving range of 300 miles can travel the full 300 miles even while towing the Lightship L1, as the trailer effectively moves itself. The Lightship L1 is expected to have a built-in 80 kilowatt hour battery that powers its electric motor, which will be recharged by solar panels installed on the roof. The trailer measures 27 feet in length, 8 feet in width, and 10 feet in height while in camping mode. SN3 Nova The first animals to make an orbital space flight were the dogs Belka and Strelka. History is about to repeat itself, but this time robotic dogs are planned to be launched into space. Designer Amin Ashi has developed a concept for a futuristic robotic dog called the SN3 Nova, which is intended to perform complex procedures on board space stations. It is expected that the robot dog will be equipped with a lithium-ion battery, a 3D laser scanner, and an HDR video camera allowing the robot to navigate freely even in low-light conditions. The designer suggests equipping the robot with a set of full-fledged tools located in the front of the body. For precise control of these tools, an advanced CMOS matrix device, currently used in cameras, would be installed. Valtra Vertical Farming Concept The demand for fresh vegetables is constantly increasing which is driving the development of vertical farms. However, appropriate equipment is needed to efficiently operate such farms. Introducing the Valtra 001 tractor for vertical farming. 
This device can harvest crops from vertical beds into special interchangeable containers that are part of the logistics system. After harvesting, these boxes automatically transport the crops to the storage area. The main task of such a machine is to optimize production in vertical farms. For now, this is just a concept, but it has all the potential to become a real device in the near future.